Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn one of the classic information retrieval model that is Boolean model. So learning outcome for this session is students will be able to create Boolean model and will be able to retrieve the documents using given retrieve the documents for a given query using this Boolean model. So what is Boolean model? It's a simple retrieval model based on set theory and Boolean algebra, a framework which is easy to grasp by a common user because we have to just uh, think about the Boolean expressions and then queries are specified as in Boolean expressions which has precise semantics. So how the framework is defined in Boolean model? The index terms are considered as in present or absent in a document that is index term weights are binary 0 or 1. A query is composed of index terms connected by this uh, three connectives and or and not and then the query essentially a conventional Boolean expression will be represented as disjunction of conjunctive vectors. Let us see with the definition of this Boolean model. So index terms are binary. So wij that is nothing but the weight of the ith term in jth document which will be 0 or 1. A query q is in conventional Boolean expression. Once we have given a query, we have to convert it into its disjunctive normal form. So this qdnf vector is in disjunctive normal form for query q. Whereas in that uh, DNF we can have the conjunctive components which is nothing but here QCC. So once we have given enter a query we are going to convert it in, in, into its DNF and then after converting into the DNF we are going to find the similarity of the document or which are the documents relevant to the given query that will be identified. So how it will be identified? Here the result of the similarity will be again binary that is 1 or 0. So, how it will be identified? We have to find any of the conjunctive component that is QCC has to be taken and for all the keywords in that conjunctive components, if the weight in the uh, that document and the component is same for all the terms and then it will be 1 otherwise it will be 0. Yeah, uh, while <coughs> looking for the example, we will say it in detail but this is a similarity degree of similarity or ranking of the document. Now let us see with it with one example. So this is in collection. So of course in any of the search engine or the information retrieval we will be having the collection of the text. So here three documents that has been considered. So what is the first task for the given collection is that we have to find the set of index terms. So there are multiple uh, ways to find the set of index terms like remove the stop word then do the stemming and so on and collect the keywords. So these are some of the identified keywords for these three documents. So some keywords are again repeating and some are unique. So we are having total here collection of 12 uh, keywords from these three documents. Okay. So this is from K1 to K2. So once we have identified this index terms, what is the next part is that we have to define the weight vectors in Boolean model. So we are having three documents. So we are having three weight vectors here. If as we can see here, it is 1 or 0. So the since keywords K1 to K6 are present in the first document, its weight is 1, whereas K1, K7 to Q12 are not present, so that it is going to be 0. In the same manner, if we can see here that K7 to K9, these are the 3 and the mountain is present in the second document, that is why it is 1 and then 3. And then again for D3, it is mount and the remaining three keywords are present which are one remaining are zero. This is how we have defined weight vectors in Boolean model for the document. Now let us see how to execute a query. Before going for execution or uh, retrieval of the documents for a query, what we have to see is that once a given expression or a query how to find its DNF. Yeah, of course, in detail you can visit any of the video for finding the PDNF but let us look at in brief whatever may be the query for finding the conjunctive components here, we have to see that every term is present in that QCC component and it should be the disjunction of conjunction. Right now this is not in the DNF, so we have to convert it. After simplifying we have got this disjunction of conjunction, still it is not in DNF because every term is not present and that is why we can introduce missing term. So while introducing the missing term, its meaning should not change and that is why retrieval or negation retrieval which comes to true 
has been introduced and then after simplification we are going to get here disjunction of conjunction of every component which is nothing but dnf so once we have identified this dnf we have to convert it into the weight vector wherever the term is present without negation it, the weight will be 1 and if it is present with negation net will be uh, weight will be 0 and that's how this is 1 1 1 1 1 0 and then 1 0 0 now at this moment pause the video and then try to find out the dnf for this given query which is nothing but indian mountain or japan mountain that we want to search in our collection yeah of course it is in disjunction of conjunction but all the terms are not present so introduce the missing term and find out the dnf i hope this is the same answer that you have got so three components so indian mountain japan indian mountain negation japan and then japan mountain negation indian so let us look at this so indian 1 1 1 follow the sequence so indian mountain and negation japan that's why it will be 1 1 0 and then negation indian which is 0 and then mountain and japan this is how we have obtained this weight vector for a query so once you have given a query or the boolean expression convert it into the weight vector and after identifying this weight vector for a query then we will start retrieval part or finding the similarity of the document so these are the three documents now if you can see the k8 k4 and k12 are the keywords uh, the, in the query that are present now let us see whether which document is matching with the this particular query so 0 1 0 is the weight of this doc uh, keywords in the document d1 whereas our qcc component 1 it is 1 1 1 so at the first only it is not matching so we should go for the second one so this 0 and 1 is also not matching so that we should go for the third one now this 0 and this 0 is matching 1 and i'm sorry this 1 and 1 is matching but this 0 and 1 is not matching so no component is matching with this weight vector so that's why its similarity will be 0 in the same manner we can calculate it for the second and third document so second document again this word, uh, weight for this is 1 1 0 and so this is from the weight vector now let us first see that uh, qcc component 1 it is not matching because it is 1 1 1 go for the second component now it is matching with 1 1 0 see what we have seen in the formula at least for the one component all the keywords weight should match since one component has been matched we did not require to go for the third component and that's why similarity is going to be one let us look at for the third document now it is 0 0 1 so again qcc component 1 2 and 3 are not matching at all so the similarity will be 0 so what we have obtained is that only relevant document is d2 rest of the two documents are not uh, valid or relevant for the given query in this way so what we can do is that first try to obtain the document vectors as far as document is not changed or added document weight vectors are not going to be changed what is only the changing part it is going to be the query vector that we are going to change or that we are going to enter accordingly get the dnf get the weight vector and try to match it with every component so what are the advantage of this boolean model it's in clear form formalism behind the model it's very simple since it is in primary uh, for implementation also we have to assign the binary weight so just find whether the keyword is present or not and then assign so it's very simple to implement the model <clears throat> but what are the disadvantages see it we are looking for the information retrieval and in information retrieval we go for the approximate matching or partial matching but in this boolean model it is as good as like a data retrieval so either relevant or not relevant so there is no partial matching in the query condition this is one second thing is that giving a user need as a boolean expression is going to be tedious task for a normal user or a layman over there this is a second and the third one is that due to its exact matching what can happen is that there can be too few documents or two more documents as a retriever so what we want to find a next model which is going beyond this uh, exact matching or which will give the notion of partial matching and that's why we should move to the next model that is in vector model in the next lecture thank you